We're back on the morning brew with Francis Akemi Baca. Welcome. Hi, thank you. And you have had a quite a kind of a busy two weeks here. Oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> yes. There's competitions galore here in New Mexico for startups, and I've been right. in all of them and um, you know, winning I, them. Yes, winning them, taking so first place. There's, uh, it's called the Innovate Her competitions, right? mm -hmm. and um, they are for women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who are working on companies that help women and girls, mm -hmm. as a general rule, right. right? With these with these competitions, and uh, they're pitch competitions. You show up and you pitch your business to a group of judges who know what they want. And for any of you who've seen the TV show Shark Tank, it's kind of like that. And you're hoping to get the attention of the judges, and they have prizes. And in your case, you won both of them. I did. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about As Girls Grow, because it's a very cool company. Well, thank you. Um, As Girls Grow is a company that's creating a way to get girls involved in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. But this is, it's not just like, you say that, and people's eyes just kind of glaze over. They're like, <laughs> oh my god, engineering and math, right? I know, I know, yes. So you're doing it with toys. I'm doing you're it with toys. You're making toys. This is great fun. I'm doing it with fun. toys, yes. Yes, because girls love toys. I mean, Who what doesn't? kid doesn't love toys? Right. And I get to play with toys all day and make toys and get them interested that way. Because we know that girls learn through play, so why right. not incorporate that into engineering and science and make right. it fun for them? And, and let's see if I got this right, because I've, I've heard the pitches. And it's, you're, you are helping uh, make kits. Mm -hmm. like they're scientific kits. Right. Um, but they're geared towards girls. Yes. Because there were when I was growing up, there were a bunch of these things you could buy the electronic kits to make a radio, you, could, you know, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And but they were they were dude oriented. <laughs> they really were. Is there really nothing girl oriented like that? You know, right now there's like a Barbie few... never did anything like this. Barbie did do something similar. Barbie has her computer science Barbie, and she has a storybook. And mm -hmm. you know, it's really exciting getting girls because Barbie's a role model. I had a right. million Barbies growing right. up, and so she has a storybook, and she writes about how she. She actually can't code and needs help of her male friends. And oh, so no. Was, I know. That was so disappointing. That's sad. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things on the market where toys have made the effort, but mm -hmm. they really just haven't, you know. Sounds like they're falling flat. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how do you make these educational toys not seem like educational toys? Because no, it's like when, when I was a kid and I would get an educational toy for like my birthday or something, I might as well have gotten a pair of socks. I was like, this is, <laughs> this is the worst. How do you make them fun? You know, I feel like growing up, toys like Legos and Kinects, you know, they were fun. Erector right. sets, they were very fun. Absolutely. And I, I had the opportunity to enjoy them. Um, a lot of girls don't have that same chance. Parents don't realize, you know, I should be purchasing this for my kids. And right. so we're kind of taking that approach that girls can still have fun with these building sets. But then we're also adding storybook characters because girls really love to tell stories. They love right. to participate with characters. And, you know, they love their friends. They love to play with their friends. So we're really adding all those aspects to it. So we're trying to stay away from the, the educational side of it to make right. girls not realize that they're, you know, learning, oh boy, you know, I have <laughs> to write a report. You accidentally learn something yeah. about this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to be learning about engineering on the way. Um, you know. Very cool. So how did you come to this? You know, I recently graduated from the University of New Mexico with my degree in mechanical engineering. Um, there, were, there were more than 60 people in our class, and I think there were five women. We were all great friends because there were only five of us, right. but five out of 60, That's, I mean, more than 60. Yeah. You know, those were terrible. Why, why aren't more women going into engineering fields like that? Just because they don't, do you think it really goes back to not being nurtured uh, as they were real little girls to understand you know, the fields? I do. I feel like it's very intimidating for a lot of girls, especially if they don't know anything about it. You know, they didn't mm. learn about it at a young age, and so it can be very intimidating and not something that they realize that they have potential to do. And I think a lot of girls hear engineering and they don't think, oh, wow, this is fun. This is, you know, inventing. This is building. This is creating, mm -hmm. which is something that girls are great at. Mm -hmm. They see it as math. Oh, no, I'm scared of math. And, oh. You know, I think that has a lot to do with it, too. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So how do you, what's the next steps with the company now? Do you, do you have the toys built? Are they out there? Can we buy them now? Uh, they aren't ready yet. We're still working on the prototype phase of it. We're uh, going to hopefully have them out by next Christmas. And we're working on getting that finalized, getting the design finalized, and you know, working on the next phase. Very cool. And this is, if, I'm, if I remember right, it's kind of a subscription model. So like I can sign up mm -hmm. today and then get 
toys delivered like every couple of months to the house, right? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a subscription. You know, you pay a monthly fee and then you get the toys delivered to your house every month. Mm -hmm. And each, each month we'll focus on a different engineering concept. And they'll build off of each other. It'll be modular. So, you know, you have July, and then you don't just completely put July off to the side when August comes, but you mm -hmm. actually build off of what you learned in July in August. So what's the first big project then? The first one right now we're working, it's called the Power Planet Girls, and it's a cast of characters. And they're, they're brilliant little cute characters that my uh, creative director came up with. And they go on different various adventures. They're building kind of a magical forest to live in. And they have to solve different problems to get through the day to. Uh, oh, we've got some photos of some of this here. There's the Power Planet girls yes, there right they there. Are. <laughs> There's um, the characters. Who are, who are they there? So we have Digit, and she's going to be this kind of sporty tomboy of the group. And there's Jewel, who's a ball of energy. Mm -hmm. And then we have Ultraviolet, who's kind of the peace-loving diplomat of the group. The hippie. The hippie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, we've, we've made these characters to have traits that all young girls can relate to, so mm -hmm. they can pick, oh, you know, I'm this character. This uh -huh. is who I act like, so this is who I, you who know, I can who identify I with. Yeah, exactly. That's so, cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So so they're building they're building this forest. Right. Mm -hmm. and and there's nothing engineering related about a forest, so there's got to be something in the forest that they're building. Right. So, you know, the first idea, the first introductory story that we have is these girls are out, they're playing, they get caught in the rain, uh -huh. and they're running back to shelter. But then, of course, Ultraviolet, he, the hippie, she finds these snails, and the snails can't get out of the rain there because you go. they're Which, too slow. Ultraviolet's the one on the left? Ultraviolet's right in, uh, right in the uh, middle. Or no, the one on the right side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, so she, you know, she says, well, look, we have to get these snails out of the rain. And then the next step is, how do we do this? And that's what you're asking the girls, is how do we get these girls out of the rain? Right. And they have the toys that they need, which are going to be the tools, and they can build you know, a car or a cart or a tent, a shelter, some sort of way that they have to figure out how to get the girls out of the rain uh -huh. um, using the toys. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And the, the, so what are the engineering concepts you try to teach? There's various engineering concepts. They start out pretty basic. You know, we have a wheel and an axle, the pulley, oh. just the very simple, um, uh, simple engineering concepts to start the, with. And the lever, we'll the mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The, and is this kind of the kind of stuff you went back to, like your, you know, engineering 101 books and find, found all the stuff? I and did. And then tried to make toys. Yeah. I did. I was so thankful. I didn't get rid of my books. So <laughs> to everybody who wants to sell your books back, keep some of them. Right. No <laughs> doubt. No doubt. So by next Christmas, we will see some of these. Yes. And then because of the uh, Innovate Her competitions, mm -hmm. you, got to, you got to be in the, the Hopepreneurs Accelerator, yes. which is one of the new accelerators, business accelerators in the city, right? Mm -hmm. It's a fabulous, fabulous idea that, you know, getting women involved in entrepreneurship. entrepreneurship. Yeah. yeah. And then also you, got, you, you won some um, legal help too, right? I did. It, patent advice, that kind of stuff, right? I did, yeah. That stuff is not cheap. No, and I'm, oh, thank goodness I won that. Right. <laughs> Right. So what's the next step now? Now that you've got all this stuff together, is it building the toys? Is it getting some fundraising? Is it... It's going to be the fundraising. So it kind of goes hand in hand. We can't really build the toys until we do the fundraising. Right. And so we're going to be doing both of them together. Sounds like a plan. Well, yeah. We're going to be back in a couple of seconds with Jeff Hain, the executive director of the Kerry Tingley Hospital Foundation, all in the morning brew with friends. Fancy ties and granny's pies and folks stealing a kiss or two as they whisper 